Welcome to our Sunday catch-up where we look back to see what we did over the past week at the Gentleman's Picture Club. If you are kind enough to be lending me your time on the 3rd of November 2024, on the day of the release of this video, we're looking back over the past week. So one of the first games we played was Atomic City. This is basically Missile Command for 2024. The graphics are gorgeous. The graphics are absolutely fantastic. We played this on the PC and I had a lot of fun playing this. Um, a couple of differences from Missile Command, but I say a great, great game and certainly, certainly inspired by. This actually led to a recommendation that we got on our Discord server. Have you signed up to our Discord channel and become a member um, for later on in the week? But no, this in its own right is a great game available on Steam very, very cheaply. We also did Midnight Bites. Midnight Bites was a brand new thing where we took a mobile phone and we had a look at TikTok as we basically crossed into the new day and we did some commentary on it and we used it like an old fashioned TV for one of a better word. Imagine you're in a hotel, you're flicking through the channels, you're trying to find something that you want to watch and you can't find nothing right. We never basically swiped upwards, we always carried on downwards. Um, and while we never swiped down, we carried on up. Well, it put it this way, we only ever went the same way. We never went back on the same people unless they reappeared twice. And we did about half hour of this. It is something very different on this channel, but it seemed to get good feedback and we did it again later on in the week as we went into Halloween as well. So I will be continuing to do these on special occasions. I won't be bringing these up every video or anything like that. But no, Midnight Bites is a new feature to the channel that we will do on a once off every once in a while. We played Dark Side of the Tune. Now, if you know Great Britain, we have the Watford Gap, and anything north of the Watford Gap is the Badlands in terms of, you know, you need to speak with a different accent, you need to speak with a different tone, so people will understand you. And if you go north of the Watford Gap, they've changed the word for town and called it Toon. So this is Dark Side of the Toon. This is a sequel to Jet Set Steamboat Willie, which was a great game available on Insta.io. This is basically another version of it, and this is by Sloney Soft, and it's absolutely brilliant. If you've got any love for platform games and you want one that's going to be fun, this is black and white madness and by black and white madness some of the things that are going on i mean look at that screen is that a goat with wheels with a cigarette hanging out his mouth uh the bottom i don't know but go and look for yourself you will have fun we also did girls aloud and we crossed this with basically i think we're alone there this is where we played a video and we've always oh, made we made a video even against a soundtrack from girls aloud from the first time that we played the killing antidote i had a lot of fun doing this have you viewed this yet have i even mentioned this before i don't think i've mentioned this before we did Super Mario Bros. So this was mini Mario time. This was a request that came from Discord. Um, you know, uh, RS Matrix, thank you very much for this. This was a, a lot of fun to be playing. Mario had been shrunk down to so like, like, oh, look how cute he is. Look how wonderful he is. And that was suitable to be talking about Mario's, but maybe not other things in that manner. But no, it plays really well. It plays fantastically well. Go and get this from itch.io before Nintendo come with their ban hammer and they take it away from you. We played the Killing Antidote Part 3. Yes, this was part of our Halloween double bill that we did. It was a horror double bill where we released two games effectively on Halloween. Um, just, 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 just for you, my gift to you. Everything is my gift to you. All of this is free. It costs basically you no money to view what we do. And yeah, we're working our way through the Killing Antidote. And oh my God, they really jazzed this one up a little bit. Um, they changed the enemies. Some enemies, I haven't been this far before, were utterly, utterly freaking disgusting to have to fight. And yeah, you know, that was a bit of a challenge this episode we did there, a bit of a challenge. We did Amnesia the Bunker. This was the second part of the Hollow Double Bill. I don't remember anything about it apart from here. It tells me there's something to do with Bunker, and I can't remember. So you'll have to check that out for yourself if you want to. We also played Centrist, and this is Tetra for Megalomaniacs. And by Megalomaniacs, is basically if you want to control everything from every direction, you want to be a god of Tetris. This is the game for you. It takes Tetris and it puts a spin on it. This was basically a request to play from the author of the game. They gave me the code. Usually I'd be, no, 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 I don't want that. But I've spent so much on Steam this month. I actually did value the code. And when they asked me to do it, yeah, I'll absolutely do it for you. And you get my honest opinion, code or no code. And all of you, if you've been watching this channel for years, know I love a little bit of Tetris. And you know what? I love a little bit of Centrist as well. It's bloody hard. It's bloody cheap. If you like what you see and you can do better than me, you know what, pop over to Steam and get that for yourself. We also played Utopia Must Fall. This basically came from Atomic City. This was a request to play. It reminded somebody on Discord about this, and they suggested we should play this. Holy hell, this is a hybrid Missile Command game. And if you can imagine Missile Command mixed with, of all games, 
vampire survivors yes vampire survivors this is what you've got here this has the upgrade mechanics of vampire survivors to upgrade your base your dome essentially and it's absolutely freaking nuts it really is good you know it, i i played this actually a lot after making the video as well i did when, when, when i got the video uploaded um it was right go back to this game and i discovered a new city so basically in this game you see two cities that you've got here i found a third city they do a greater london city and i did my best to defend it obviously i died in the end but no this is great but in this game when we do this game i mention a video it's called without warning you've got to not if you, if you enjoy this game do not absolutely do not read up about this film that i've got the picture there is out of print so you're going to have to download a copy from somewhere but that is a copy of the dvd cover that i mentioned in the game do not read about it you will spoil it for yourself go in utterly utterly blind but that is the film that you're actually looking for right what else did we do what else did we do we played Automania. Now, this is on the Commodore 64. Yes, we went all the way back to the Commodore 64 to play this particular game. And why did we do it? I wanted to take a game that I knew on the Sinclair Spectrum, replay it on the Commodore 64, or replay a game on the Spectrum on a different platform to see how they compare. So this is what went live this morning for you, only a few hours ago. So this actually, in my opinion plays better than the spectral version but no i had a lot of fun doing this and you know it's been fun to do the work that we do on the channel with you to bring you the content bring you the bits and pieces that we do and i thank each and every one of you for tuning in until the next video you stay safe you take care and i will see you soon goodbye